What's good? Cephalon Toxic Cephalon here back again with another Warframe video. Um We have the Void Traders in This might actually be the second day for him or something like that, but I haven't been on for the past couple days. I haven't been feeling all that well. But I kept getting inbox messages on here and I even got them to my email for some odd reason about these new p the Twitch Prime Prime rewards. So I just went ahead and got them so I didn't get the messages anymore. But I, you get Soma Prime, <coughs> Frost Prime, which I probably won't use unless y'all ask me to. And then Skindo Prime. Interesting thing about this is I had a full Soma Prime set but didn't make it. Gave it to my brother in law because it's the last primary primary prime weapon he needed. So I gave him the whole set for two ammo K there were two bronze mods that I didn't even need, but my brother in law was helping him out. He helped me out on my primary for a while, but anyways. So that's all new, it's there. I'm asking my buddy if he'll taxi me real fast so that I can do the Mars um, relay. Even though I told y'all I wouldn't do anything like that, but I might just do these three missions. I don't like that either. If you think it's alien, as an alien spy. Whatever, let's go to Mundo Relay. Oh, here's a clone. Come for the star. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do this quick video. Um. Excuse me, with Ash, none of the relay mission, none of the relay specter fights are hard because you have Shuriken that has like a half a second stun most of the time, and right after you hit that, you hit four to target him and then four to kill him. It's ridiculous. I just don't understand why you can't do that with a lot of the bosses, like, I mean, I understand, it would be too easy, you just unlock Ash and go around killing everybody with Ash, but, anyways, oh, there's also a Halloween Pokemon event, I'll talk about that here in a second, let's see, they have... Is this a Sedona? Oh no, it's the armors. Well, they have the Prisma Gorgon, which I hated the Gorgon, so I'm probably not gonna get it ever. They got the dual cleavers, which are alright. They've got these two sentinel armors. They got your back armor. Oh, they do have a Katir Sedona. They got a skin for. Dude, they've got a bat, combat armor. They've got a skin for the Dark Sword. They got the Crater Booster. Yawn. They got Maim, which is slash damage on your pistol. They got the shotgun slash damage and sweeping serration. Then they got the melee slash damage plus kill. And they got prime heated charge, which I uh, was using a pistol. I might. But. I think the only ones that's really worth it is the shotgun 
in my opinion, is the shotgun and the melee. And if I haven't picked up a pistol again, I might pick up main, but... Yeah, buzzkill and sleep and serration are the only two that I'd actually probably get. And then just because I eventually want all of them, I'll get the Prisma armor. Which I might do off, off screen fissure hunting to get tickets. Uh, might do them on screen, I don't know yet. I haven't figured out figured that out yet. But yeah, that's all he has. Like I said, the credit booster is not worth it. The skin, unless you use Dark Sword. Let me see if it zooms in on the skin. I never really looked at skins through him. Oh, this skin's not even worth it in my opinion. That on there's just gonna pull it up. No, oh, no, it might show. Nah, it's not worth it in my opinion. So the bottom four, not really worth it. If you already have the Sands Iron or Spook Print, that's all you need. You just need one of them per run, I think. But, or does it give you infinite uses? Uh, dual Cleavers is alright. I, if I ever got the Prisma Gorgon, it would only be for MR. Only. Maybe trade it off for Plat, but. Send no longer, don't really want it. Because I'm going to eventually go to a combat. Um, like I said, Buzzkill, Serping Serration, maybe Maim. Prime the Heated Charge is alright. I don't think my radiation is poison and fire. Maybe. If I pick up a pistol again, these two are only if I pick up a pistol again, and then that just because I want a long. But he doesn't have anything that's mind blowing this time like he did a couple times ago, and every head primed reach and um, what do you have? He had primed reach and all the dual stat mods for electricity. That time I went crazy with the Void Trader. Got two of each of the mods. I got two Prime Reaches. I got, I think I got three of. Yeah, three because he had the sniper rifle at time. Prime, or not Prime, Prisma. Was on. I think it was a new sniper rifle they were adding into the game. Um, I can't think of the name of it to save my life right now. But anyways, but yeah, he had some stuff that was on fire that time. Uh, what do I need here still? Oh, I still need the prime core. Okay. Um. Oh, back to what I was talking about. Pokemon Go is having this Halloween event going on now. And I've already caught Duskull's, uh, Shuppets. I accidentally transferred my Gengar, so I gotta catch Ghastly's and Haunters and everybody else again that pops up. Um, caught a Sableye. A couple of the Dark-type Pokemon are out and about, like Hound Hours. I caught a couple of those. Even though I already have a hound I don't have 100% hound him. But. It's on from the 20th, which is today, all the way to the 2nd of November. So, two days after Halloween. Which is a lot longer this year than it was last year. Because last year, I think it was just like the week of Halloween or something like that. But, so yeah, I can record that on my phone and upload it as videos if y'all want to see it. I'll do a run through of what I have and everything.
it's not the greatest account, but I played it, started last December, played it for a couple months, stopped, and 2 came out, played it for a couple months, stopped, the shiny Magikarp came out, went after it, never got it, gave up, and then I started playing it off and on, randomly, whenever I felt like it, whenever I was out and about, you know, but... Then they brought the legendary dogs in, and the birds, and his raids. So I started playing it, but picking it back up, trying to get candies for some of my Pokemon to power them up. Um, and now Gen 3's dropping, which has one of my favorite Pokemon in it. So, but it's not dropped yet. They didn't drop it like they thought they were with Halloween. Because they said that they were dropping dark types. But apparently it's only Ghost, unless I'm not seeing some Pokemon, but anyways, um, so yeah, I'll do that, uh, I'll upload that later tonight, um, Paladins will go up, this will go up, um, a couple more, might upload a couple Paladins, because those games are a lot shorter. And then I'll come back and do the rest of the Stolen Dreams. Um, let's see, Stolen Dreams. I'll probably finally finish up the Howl of the Kubro, because all I need is that power core. Um, I might do these off screen, these three missions right here. To get to Susie in order to do the Mars Junction. And then I'll record the Mars Junction. And then we'll get a new quest. And then I'll do that quest and so on and so forth. Two of the most sought after quests are not that far off. Um. And I'm still looking for um, requests on other games. If anybody wants to drop some in com the comments below any of my videos, regardless of if I ask or not, y'all can request video game games that you want me to play and record. PC only for right now and mobile if it can be downloaded on Android. So don't send me no iPhone only game because there are a couple still out there. Not everybody synced together fully. But until next time, Cephalon, just keep it real.